Aries, hi. So this is going to be a reading for April 29th through May 5th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see what we got here. Aries. Oh, some phallic hair. That's what we got. The, um, come on, get off. No, you don't want to. The overall energy for the reading, the Ten of Swords. This seems like an energy of, you know, when, when you feel defeated, when you feel like you're losing hope. Um, potentially has to do with the actual notion of loss, but eh, I'm not getting that really. We'll see. In the recent past, the Queen of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, the Seven of Cups. Um, hmm. <laughs> I kind of get the sense that this is a stage where you're trying to give more to yourself. There's this energy that's coming back as, okay, I should do this for me. I should do that. I should do that. I should do that. The only thing is I see you at the end of it all, because there's plenty of options here, but I see you at the end of it all with a sense of, but how, how do I start? Where do I start? When do I start? You know, things like that. So there's definitely an energy that's kind of coming through as self-care, self-love here. Very powerful one. And definitely a lot of options for it, but a lot of confusion to it too. So in the current situation, the Fool, the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. Yeah, because you keep on throwing yourself here into partnerships, relationships, friendships, whatever the case here, that feel good. The, they feel good to you. They're like, okay, let me open up to this. I kind of get the sense that with that energy from the past, it kind of comes through as, okay, but where's that line of, I'm going to give myself completely to this. And beyond that, where's me? Where's, you know, kind of wanting to gain a sense of independence too. Like, it's okay. Yeah, I want to kind of open up to others and things like that. But when I do, I do it completely. So I need to find a little corner for myself too in that. So that's kind of how these energies blend here for you. Because you are showing up super open in terms of when you open up to someone in this energy that you're showing me here, it's kind of like you identify as that relationship rather than, you know, you you end that relationship um interesting uh, this kind of looks a little new here as an energy for you so it could be that you're kind of going through this process of developing somewhat of an independence here okay in the immediate future you get the knight of wands the king of pentacles the six of wands something feels really really good here why do you keep on coming back with this? Um, like a follower, a follower. Like, okay, that looks good. That person says the right thing. Okay, I'm going to go follow everything they say or something. Like, there's no real differentiation between, hold on, hold on. Where's you? You know, where's, okay, it makes sense. And you follow what they say to some extent, you know, like there's, there's that missing part of you in here. What the hell is going on? Like, it's good energies for the most part, even when you do throw yourself into something. But that's it. It's it's like, okay, you need you need to have your little you to the side of that. You know what I mean? So, okay. I don't know what's going on here. But okay. Let's see. Let's clarify. Let me do the Ten of Swords. Felix's hair. I don't know what it wants from me. Felix is right there. I don't need his hair. Felix, come. Come. With this change in this room, I created a lot of spaces for the cats to, to check out and to kind of wander around. Um, so they're now they're always here. Sometimes you see them, sometimes you don't. 
But anyways, uh, for the Ten of Swords, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Justice card, the Ten of Wands. And, that, and that's the thing, you know, because when you give your energy to something, whether it's a person, whether it's a situation like this job that you're getting or something, and you throw yourself completely into it and you have nothing of your own there on the side, of course you would feel defeated and feel like, you know, I can't start over or like, I feel like, oh my God, I can't do this anymore. And because you have no side energy that you can pull resources from to be like, oh, okay, you know, yeah, I've lost this and let me go through the loss of this and let me do whatever I need to do with this. But I still have a little something, that part of me, that energy that I kept for myself, that I can start something off there, you know? So not all is lost. When you give yourself completely to these situations, of course you would feel everything's lost, including you. Because that's how it was set up from the get-go. So there's definitely a little bit of... I'm not sure what the experience is currently that you're dealing with. But all of these energies kind of come through as a little side note of, hey, you know, keep a little something for you as well. Um, don't give yourself completely to something. That's why that energy was strong of self-love. Because it was teaching you that. It was supposed to teach you that. Um, okay. Okay. Let me do the Queen of Pentacles. The Six of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. It's shown up here as an energy, right? Of self-love, taking care of yourself, keeping that sense of independence through this energy. And you're, you're showing me, hey, I did that. I did that. It all worked out great. But did you really? Because you're still coming back around with the same issue of, Oh, there's this situation I'm dealing with. Let me give myself completely to that. Where's that then? Where does that apply? If you did that, where does that apply? Self-love, you know, your own sense of you. Where does it come back in? Because I don't see it. Let's do the Two of Swords. The Two of Wands, the Two of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. Now, you've gotten yourself into quite the pickle there because you, on one hand, you're telling me I am taking care of myself. I am creating a sense of independence through everything that I'm doing. I've learned how to do that. I'm a master at that. It's still work in progress, but, you know, we're doing good here with this energy of self-love. And then... It, when it comes down to put it into practice... That's when you look a little bit all over the place, you know, a little bit like, oh, uh, how do I do that again? You know, so when when you're on your own and working on certain things about yourself and for yourself, you look like, you know, I've got a handle on it when it's time to put it into practice. Let's say a situation shows up or a person shows up and you're like, oh, OK, let me throw myself completely in there. But then you got to practice right on the side. Whereas whenever a situation or a person shows up, you're not going to do that again. You're not going to throw yourself completely into it. But yet you do. Um, and that's when it gets confusing because it's like, well, then didn't I do that? Didn't I work on that, on that aspect of me and putting that to the side there of this? Mm. Practice makes perfect. It's not going to work out the first time around. Yeah, you're going to feel a little bit of aha moment over, oh, okay, I got it now. And now I know what I need to do. But again, when you put it into practice, it's going to be a little different. You know, it's not just you and you uh, working on this energy in your room there, you know, with nobody bothering you with life, giving you a break or something. And then something shows up. You're going to do what you've been used to doing all your life, you know. So there's definitely a, uh, this is a very interesting reading for sure for you. Um, in the, for the seven of cups, you get the nine of cups, the five of wands, the three of cups. It's basically a battle between a sense of independence and a sense of codependency, more like dependency, but it's, it's like, how do I 
distinguish between the two. What does that mean? So you're telling me that when I throw myself into something, a situation or a relationship, I shouldn't give it all? That's not what I'm saying. Give, give all you've got. Give the best that you've got. But where's your you? You know, where's your side that you keep for yourself as well as an energy of independence, as an energy of God forbid something happens to these situations, you know, overnight where they're gone. What are you going to do? You're going to be gone too because you just gave yourself completely to the situation. You know? So from that perspective of where's you, do something for you, even when you get yourself involved in these situations keep on doing all the time something for you you know whatever the situation is however meaningful it may be that's how you keep yourself meaningful to you by doing stuff all the time for yourself and that keeps a safe spot for you and tells you this is who you are not this you know you're part of this but that's not who you are so not creating your identity through a situation or a relationship. Uh, for the fool in the current situation, you get the four of swords, the fool, the king of wands. You're looking a little better here in your energy in the sense of, yes, you're still open. Yes, you're still willing to give everything you've got to a situation that's important to you. But at the same time, you look more aware and more... Like you've got a little something there, which I didn't see that in the past. Now you do. So you've definitely developed a sense of, yeah, this is who I am. And I'm going to keep that to the side of this situation. And then, you know, I'll still participate in this situation with everything I got. But at the same time, I'm going to still participate with just a tiny little bit if I don't throw in everything I got into this energy of me, you know, investing in me while I'm uh, fully engaged into something else here too. Uh, for the Three of Pentacles, in the current situation, you get the Temperance card, the Star, the Page of Cups. And, and relationships are starting to look a lot more healthier. Like I looked there in the past, it's a little bit of a mess. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit of, ooh, mm, mm. no, because I need you. Because without you, there is no me and things like that. And then in the current situation, you just take things as they are. You accept things for what they are. I'm not sure if this is currently here, this three of pentacles energy in terms of, are you part of this friendship, partnership, whatever this is, and you just kind of feel the switch, you know, when you introduce that sense of independence and that sense of freedom within yourself from it, then you don't feel... 100% you re being represented by this connection. So it feels more free. It feels more loose. Like it gives you space. You know, it gives you just the freedom to just be. Whereas in the past, there were a lot of strings being pulled. You know, you can't go because if you go, I'm, I'm, what's going to happen to me? And you are supposed to take care of yourself here, you know. But anyways, for the Two of Cups, you get the Seven of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Seven of Wands. Yeah, there's still, there's still that sense of commitment and a um, little bit of dependency coming through for you because you're not going to heal overnight. You know, this is definitely work in progress and it's going to take a long time, especially we're not used to... Um, you know, being raised within that principle of, hey, you got to be independent here, too. You know, we develop that as we as we grow. So it's still going to show up. But there's a huge progress that's being made here. I'm, I'm kind of like I'm trying to think where it happened because I don't see it in the reading. I just see the energies being this way and then being completely uh, different. You know, the middle part, I don't see. Okay, what'd you do to get to this point? You probably did a lot of work on yourself there. But, and there's still that sense of uh, codependency showing up strong at times. It's not bigger than your sense of independence, though. So that's definitely progress. 
Because, I mean, you're starting from a place of me, self-love. Self-love is my middle name. Of course I can do this. I've got this. And then I see the mess afterwards. And I'm like, that's not, no, that's not it. And then you're definitely showing up in the energy of keeping that little part for you, you know, of yourself. Um, for the Knight of Wands in the uh, immediate future, you get the Six of Swords, the Magician, the Nine of Pentacles. You look so much better here. Oh, man, you're doing this. Like, the, the typical Aries comes out with the with your signature move of, yeah, I'm fire, let's go, let's buy, you know, as an energy. And then there's this force from within that just kind of grounds you, and you're like, take a chill pill. We're doing this. We got this. We're good. You know, so your manifestations even are coming from... Um, a sense of groundness and a sense of independence and a sense of stability within yourself. Even if your approach wants to be that of an Aries, because it's still going to be that. But it's kind of like, you know, what you're bringing forward as an energy is going to be filtered through. Um, and then you just slow down as a natural. You, you don't even have to force yourself because you're coming from that grounded energy from within you. So it's, it's going to feel quite natural here. I love this for you. Okay, so this is basically your battle with creating a sense of independence for yourself through any kind of relationship, you know. But you are seeing the shifts within those relationships as this kind of comes through for you. Um, so it's definitely noticeable here. I mean, for me it is, I think, for you too. For the King of Pentacles in the immediate future, you get the Ten of Cups, the High Priestess, the Ten of Swords. Uh, Okay. Yeah, you become very intuitive here, very you've you've released yourself, you've freed yourself from this sense of belonging to again the energy of a situation or a person or like you were completely in it, which most of us are for a big chunk of our lives until we realize, hey, hold hold on. Yeah, hold on. Well, let's do things a little different. And you did. And you're becoming very intuitive to the point of knowing, just knowing, and just like that, when things are going to work out in a situation when, like, it's not coming off of fear. Sometimes it is. So that's going to be a tricky part. But other times, most times, you're coming from your radar from inside of you that tells you, hey, this situation is not going to work out. Don't even bother, you know? Like this, this recognizing things as you go pretty fast here. I love how you're showing up here. Sometimes it's going to be fear there, though, when you do recognize, you know, certain things. Okay, this is probably not going to work out. So you have to distinguish between what's internally coming from you as just a knowing or is it fear? Uh, they're going to show up quite similar, but there's quite the differences to that, too, you know. Where you're going to know if it's fear, eventually. Uh, six of Wands in the immediate future. You get the Three of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the King of Swords. Ooh, man. This was a painful journey for you. It wasn't easy to get here. You know, I, again, I can't see that place of how you got here. But now you're kind of showing me the behind the scenes kind of a kind of a thing here. You know, points of it not all of it but showing me that it's it's been painful to get to this point but you're actually ending up appreciating the pain because again it's teaching you how to get to this place of you you know not you through who knows what connection or not you through who knows what situation it's you and you and those situations you can take them as being Yes, you're part of them, but there's something separate of you. You know what I mean? Whereas up until this point here, you've identified yourself through the situation you belong to or the connection you belong to, the friendship, the this, the that, you know. Um, interesting. This is pretty big. I'm not even sure if it's touching on anything that's currently unfolding like in front of you that you're dealing with but it's probably a little bigger than that as an energy for you that's coming to the surface so it's it's really nice 
Um, let me see what the universe has. The Nine of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Judgment card. Yeah, you've gone through quite the transformative process here. And it had its ups and downs here. But when it was up in terms of you feeling it, feeling the transformation that you are you went through and you're potentially still going through, you really felt it. You're like, oh, okay, I can feel it. It feels so goddamn good, you know? And there's some resistance here and there, which is indicating the, the lower parts, but every process has its share of resistance, I guess, from all of us. So I'm not, I'm not too concerned about it, especially when I see the results here. It's freaking amazing. Um, but yeah, interesting reading, but that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.